Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about a massive breakthrough in drug trial for colorectal cancer patients which yielded a 100% success rate. Mismatch repair deficient, locally advanced rectal cancer was highly sensitive to single agent PD-1 blockade according to the recent study published in New England Journal of Medicine. However, longer follow-up is needed to assess the duration of response. New adjuvant chemotherapy and radiation followed by surgical resection of the rectum is a standard treatment for locally advanced rectal cancer. A subset of rectal cancer is caused by a deficiency in mismatch repair. Because mismatch repair deficient colorectal cancer is responsive to programmed death 1 that is PD-1 blockade in the context of metastatic disease, it was hypothesized that checkpoint blockade could be effective in patients with mismatch repair deficient locally advanced rectal cancer. The authors initiated a prospective phase 2 study in which single agent dostarlimab, an anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibody, was administered every 3 weeks for 6 months in patients with mismatch repair deficient stage 2 or 3 rectal adenocarcinoma. This treatment was to be followed by standard chemoradiotherapy and surgery. Patients who had a clinical complete response after completion of dostarlimab therapy would proceed without chemoradiotherapy and surgery. The primary endpoints are sustained clinical complete response 12 months after completion of dostarlimab therapy or pathological complete response after completion of dostarlimab therapy with or without chemoradiotherapy and overall response to new adjuvant dostarlimab therapy with or without chemoradiotherapy. A total of 12 patients have completed treatment with dostarlimab and have have undergone at least six months of follow-up. All 12 patients had a clinical complete response with no evidence of tumor on magnetic resonance imaging, 18F fluorodeoxyglucose positron emission tomography, endoscopic evaluation, digital rectal examination or biopsy. At the time of this report, no patient had received chemoradiotherapy or undergone surgery and no cases of progression or recurrence had been reported during follow-up. No adverse events of grade 3 or higher have been reported. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.